How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazastical. Welcome to the new series, No Messing About. Let's hit this button. New colony today and we are doing one of the new starters, the Mechanator. So, we start with one human. We start with Research Mitro Electronics, which is actually quite, quite a powerful start. We start with basic mech tech and we start with battery. Really, really handy. We start with a lifter and a constructoid. So a lifter is a hauler cleaner. Mm, question mark. <laughs> and a constructor or a constructoid. I hope constructs, otherwise I'm really embarrassing ourselves. Medicine, a thousand silver. So, um, survival mills, very strong. 55 components, very good. 900 steel, 100 plus steel and five basic sub cores, which I imagine is going to allow us to make more of these. Okay, this is going to be a good, good start. And then we always do. Um, we've done Randy quite a lot lately. I feel like Cassandra needs the love. So we are going to do custom. Losing is fun. Threat scale, 500%. Because apparently I like pain. I like something. Oh, and then I totally forgot. I reload any time just because in case of shenanigans, of course, you know which one we're doing. We're doing the old Tazastrical. Um, I'll just do 30% because we don't do crazy stuff on the map and it just reduces load times by a little, I suppose. And we'll go j -j 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 generate. Okay, and this is the first look of our world. God, does it look sexy? Does it look glorious? Probably looks like a normal world. So, on the series, I always like every um, series, everything to look a little bit different. So, with that being said, we always do 100% grow rate. So, let's not do that this time. So, let's have something that's slightly colder. We haven't done something in Tundra. So we could do a Tundra start. I would like to start near people. Just then we could do some trades or whatnot. This could be really good. So we could do large hills. Growing period is only 20 days of the year. Meaning then it's a little bit more important. We have the Gumun people that are hostile towards us. And we have the Empire. Mm. Oh, this might be better. Are they going to hate us immediately? I could just... Boreal Forest. Thirty days out of sixty. We're a little bit far away. But then... I suppose we're next to a road. Because if we're too close then they'll naturally be enemies to us. So yeah, we'll go here. Small hills. Mm. Mountainous. We've done a lot of mountainous. Mountainous, marble, granite, slate. Growing period, 20 out of 60. Advanced, bigger is better. And next. So I've already got our ideology ready for this series. So cut to what we're doing. And here is our ideology. So I think this is probably the most powerful uh, one. And that doesn't actually impact too much. But we go collectivist, which we're basically doing so it triples the work drive that we give on people, making them work even quicker. We're going to go transhumanist, which basically the more body parts, modded body parts we put on people, the happier they're going to be. And Tunnela, we're going to live in the mountains. We're back, baby. We love insect meat. Imagine... Uh, we like mining, we have to age reversal, we have to supercharge, so we're going to try and keep the colonists down to a minimal. Don't care about small spaces, we're not cannibals though. Drug use, medical or social only, that's absolutely fine. Research, normal research. And we do prefer fungus. So that's absolutely fine. So it'll be forcing bugs to spawn forcing bugs to spawn, eating fungal, so which is absolutely fine. Um, everything else I'm ha happy with. The only thing that I would like to change is... Do we need to change the clothing on anyone? No, I, I think that's all fine. 
Buildings, happy with that. Relics, happy with that. Weapons, yep, that's fine. Appearance, cool, cool, cool. Then we go into the fun bit. So, I will have a look to see if there's anyone really, really good here. However, I feel like... Like, do we want to start with baseliner? We always start with a baseliner. I feel like this is the series where we probably start with something in. So, let's go Genie. Uh, because Genie, if we read here, designed to be engineers, Genies have natural aptitude with machines and are emotionally cold and calm. They are also fragile and vulnerable to pain. Focused on machines, they often come off as socially napped. So I feel like that, that plays in exactly with what we're doing here. And then we've got the colonists. So I will randomize a couple of times. I could actually see... What do we actually need? I really need to worry about... See, body modder would be great because then we'll get a boost from body modder and a boost from just being transhumanist. So I'm going to randomize this a couple of times and then let's come back on what I actually think we should do because... I'm not sure. I'm nervous, buddy. Well, nervous. Nervous, nervous atmosphere today. Okay, party people. I think this is going to be close enough and don't even ask what we're doing here, so... My main thing is because we're Tunnela, we're going to need a miner because I'm pretty sure neither of the mechs will do that, but we'll have a better check early. So we've got a miner so we can get into the mountain as quickly as possible. Getting a passion in cooking is very important just because what this series is going to do, we'll get into it more when we get there, but we're not going to have loads of colonists. So to have a slight passion in cooking is going to be really good. Plant speaks for itself, crafting and obviously intellectual. We're going with genie as well. So that gives us... Uh, dead calm, never do social fights, mental breaks will never be violent, uh, delicate, which isn't great, so we'll get worse injuries, poor plants, poor animals, great crafting, great intellectual, awful social, no hair, beardless, thin body, elonged fingers, this aids with many tasks, so our manipulation is 110%, which is a really good start, does make our hunger rate more, but that's absolutely fine. That's a great start. And this is Ruben Jill, nicknamed Bane. Now, that's a name. That's a name. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's talk about what this series story is going to be. You knew you could only achieve greatness with help. People were too unreliable. So you chose to take on Mechanoids as your servants, workers and warriors. As you gained strength, others became fearful. It became clear you needed to get away from the influence of humanity. Now, you've migrated to this sparsely populated rim world with some of your metallic helpers. Finally, you have the space to grasp your true potential. <laughs> oh, it's a good feeling. Here we go. Dropping down for the first time. Welcome, Bane. Look at that. Hopefully, he's not the bane of our existence. Existence. I can't talk on the channel. Just get used to it. So, party people, before we get started, quick disclaimer of how I like to play RimWorld. While I like to play as efficient as possible, I enjoy the story side to RimWorld. So, it's not going to be roleplay. Don't, don't think it's going to be cringe like that. Bruh. However, we like to have a good time on the channel. So, the idea of this series is we have the one mechanator. We might get two, we might get three. We are going to keep the limit of humans down as maximum as possible, and we will embrace the transhumanist in us as much as possible. And that is the plan. So, we just roll with what the story gives us. We might just continue with Bane forever. We might have five Mechanators and try and rule the world. We'll just see what Randy throws us, or sorry, Cassandra throws at us. Now, let's get to it. So, the most important thing is, let's have a look what we've got in this map. A lot of marsh. So, this is a mountainous start. So, what we're looking for here... is an area like that. Now, I'd really love it if it had a steam geyser. However, what we're looking for and what most people look for, we're looking for these bottlenecks where we can hide and the enemy can only come at us from one direction. Steam geyser there. Not a lot of steam geysers. 
So I think the plan is probably because then we can wall this off, have our base here, then eventually move in. To be fair, with Bane being as good as he is, we can probably just go straight away. So if I go to mechs down here, we have two mechs with us. We have a Constructoid. Small mechanoid designed to perform construction tasks. It can perform blunt melee attacks if necessary. Okay. And we have the lifter. Small mechanoid is designed for hauling, lacking a ranged weapon. It can only make weak melee attacks. So we can't really rely on them, which is why it's pretty good for uh, Bane to have some combat. Although, it doesn't have any. Okay, so the first priority is going to be making a stockpile zone, probably in there. As it's already there, and then... So I'm going to do two... Uh, do we start outside? The problem is, is how quick do we move inside? So materials, we've got a lot of steel. Last steel, and then research. So we've already got basic tech, so we are going to have to get the mech stuff up quicker or sooner rather than later so they can repair and stuff like that so so we're gonna mine down here and maybe we just do that for the first room okay so work schedule so at the moment i don't see a point doing manual priorities we're gonna unpause and go to speed one Oh, it's always an exciting feeling when we have like a new start, like the possibilities, what's going to happen. Luckily, we do have a lot of um, survival mills and whatnot. Right, anyway, let's go speed free. Because the quicker Bane can get in here, and with Bane's 12 mining, it's, uh, just with the quickness, strikes us with... Oh, steel in here as well, that's quite handy. But the priority is to get Bane in here as quickly as possible. This will work as our kill box. Because we only need something really small at this point. And then the bedroom will just be a bit of everything at the moment. We don't need to worry too much. Let's check needs. Hideous environment. Darkness. Transhumanist connected, we've already got that. Oh yeah, and we did have we didn't really go over Bane's traits. So we've got Wimp, Pain Shrek um sh threshold is higher, certainty loss is higher, which you know is what it is. Delicate takes more damage, but we've got recluse as well. So the more Bane is on um his own, the happier he's gonna be. And does give a tasty plus twelve to that as well, which is actually quite nice. Right, the hall is going to bring them over. The constructor is sort of a bit bored at this point, but there's not really too much we can do. We can see there's a lot of wildlife. So it's going to be interesting for clothes. We could potentially kill the muffalos. Bane's going for a walk. Well, can we get your bedroom up? Oh, actually, what I can do, pause... I'll get stuff up with steel for the moment. This is just because then the constructor can get to work straight away. So I just want to mine and get in, really. So then we'll go steel bed. Get the constructor to work. Get both the mechs to work. Bane then has a bed day one. Not sleeping outside. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But when we start with one person, we have to be a little bit sensible of what we can achieve. Uh, poor little mechanoids. Ah, look at that. The hauling mech that could. Because that's the thing with Bane, starting with just one colonist. It's fairly easy. So we will just start with the one room. We don't need to have a massive, humongous base. But we do need to be aware for attacks and stuff. Bane isn't the best combat expert. So what we're going to do for the first um, two episodes, we will have 45 minutes episodes. Then we're going to go down to half an hour. 
And obviously, if you like this series, give us a like, give us a comment. I always appreciate it. If you want to get involved further in the community, within the channel, with me, with the sexiness, with the greatness, with Bane, Discord in the description below. Anyway, with that being said, so let's get this room up today. I think we're going to be onto a winner. What it will do from is we're building a lot of stuff out of steel, mainly because I don't want the constructor just to not be doing anything. So I'm just going to build these. We will move them and redo everything in a little bit. This is just more... Oh, we don't start with solar panels. Could do wood fuel generator in all honesty. With the amount of wood we've got. Wind turbine. I mean, we could just do a wind turbine. We've got batteries straight off the bat. So pause. So let me just check my religion. Tunnelar. Don't care about small spaces. So do we care about living outside? Eight without a table. Yeah, we need to be getting all that up, don't we? I'm slacking party people. So early on, I'm... Where's furniture? Don't say we got battery. Oh, it's because the tables looked weird. That's my excuse. Go there. Dining table. There we go. Yeah, we'll do wind turbine just because... Wood fuel generator is going to be very micromanagey, having to cut down trees and whatnot. Then we can bring that straight into the colony there. If we don't want breakdowns this early, it would be a bit, a bit silly. But there we go. And then let's build our kill box out here. Pause. We're building everything out of steel at the moment. There we go. It's actually quite handy. There we go. And then we'll put traps in it and whatnot. That would just be our first version just because we do need to protect wind turbine it allows us we might keep that as a stockpile for the time being i'm not really quite sure we need to get oh i'm still on pause i'm an absolute foolish person could be worse and then i'll redo all this and then we're gonna get the mech stuff up to make sure they can recharge and to get more mechs up as quickly as possible a melee mech. So the uh, research at the moment, the basic mech tech. Do we get... So we just get the shotgun mechs from it. But we will need some. It's going up. I know building out of steel isn't the best, but... It's what we're working with at the moment. Bane, you're relaxing. I'll be honest, mate. I just need... I just need this mined at the moment. Right, prioritise mining. So the quicker we can do this, the quicker we can get light in here and you're going to be happy with your life. So reinstall that there. So then that's connected. Uh, security, steel traps. There we go. We'll do it better in a bit. But just to get some traps down early. I always find with like kill boxes, especially with this, if I don't if I put something here, they'll avoid the traps. So just something very, very basic. And we do it to... Oh, don't want that. Oh, no, we don't. 
So it's something very basic. We put a door there, it's two by two, so then we can address uh, the traps without getting hit by the traps, which is, you know, important. And a door there so we can just pass in and out very, very quickly. And I just find that's a very basic, easy thing. I know a lot of people do put fences in here. I find if you just put a concrete path, you're absolutely fine, so... I'm absolutely fine. Bane. We got a gift. Five gold. What do we need? We need a hundred steel. And we need two components. So you're doing the traps. We did start with 55 components though, didn't we? Apparently we've only got five. Oh yeah, 50 here. So that will go up. I think they're too busy doing the traps, which... I don't mind. Right, so pause. We need a mech recharger. We're going to make a lot of toxic waste packs. I think we're just going to like mess up our... Mess up our pollution and just go from there. And then this makes them. And produce new mech noise. So let's get a recharger first. Let's quickly have a look at Bane's knees, just in case we're missing anything. Slept in the cold, awful bedroom, gotcha. Uh, 15 degrees, that's fine. We can get a heater in straight away. Right, Bane's building that. I would... So we're going to go to manual priorities already. Because... Because we have a mech that's cleaning and hauling, I don't mind putting them at constructing, hauling, cleaning. I don't mind putting them tasks at the bottom. We have got a mad hair, so it's going to be our first little thing. However, we are just going to make a zone under attack. As you party people know me by now, I love a good zone. And then we can just hide. And this is basically a quick way, so then we go down to schedule under attack remember to set the max and we can just hide immediately and there we go we see the rabbit come through straight on the traps we go to wildlife and then to check if anything else is manhunter we're just looking for like a red lightning bolt harry potter scar here we can see there's none so now we know we're fine go to schedule unrestrict everything nice good start that I love, I absolutely love. Right, is the wind turbine is blocked by a pine tree? So it says, whenever you click on it, it just says the bottom left hand corner, which is always handy. So we will cut down all them trees. That's absolutely fine. What I will do with Bane, we do need to keep an eye on our plant cut can go to one. We do need to keep an eye on food. Currently at 27, but that's going to go down really, really fast. Uh, Bane, I'm going to wake you up so we can get this power on. Like, I know you really want to sleep. However, we're slacker lacker. Getting the kill box up really quickly is obviously handy. Lysandra's a little bit more... Because we always have a debate and whatnot, who's tougher, Cassandra or Randy. And Randy's clearly harder early on. However, I just find Randy can get really easy late game. So, yeah, cut these down so hopefully they don't keep growing here. Because if we get the power, we get the light on, get the heater on, we can start being a little bit more cozy. We can start making it feel like a real home for Bane. Like, look at that. Snug as a bug in a rock. The album is coming, party people. The album is coming. So that needs powered. If we mine all that out, and then I'll put a a wall down there. Yeah, we need to stop using the steel. It's just because we've got so much steel like at the moment. It's just quite advantageous for us to use it. Constructor hasn't got anything to do. 
So I'm going to go biotech and I'm going to build that, which lets us build new mechanoids. Because I would like a shotgun mech as quickly as possible. There we go. I'm also going to go cargo pods. The game feels sorry for us already. Some duck eggs. So if I pause. So I'll do a dumping stockpile there. I'll do a dumping stockpile here. Clear it all. Chunks. We'll do steel slag there. Clear it all. Chunks. We'll do stone chunks there. Nice. Right, so that's getting mined out. So we're going to haul all the chunks. Then we're going to build a steel wall up here. I will build a door there. And then I'll just move the table. Reinstall that bed there. Reinstall the light there. Just have a quick re, you know, spring clean. I want to get more mechs up like as soon as possible. But the other door is because the mechs are going to need to come in here quite a bit. So we can't reinstall these buildings, which is a bit sad, but... It is summertime, but winter is coming. It's fine, we can grow fungus inside. So it's not too going to impact us at all. Although we will have to have heaters in to make sure the temperature stays up and stuff like that. Early on it's going to impact us a little bit, so we're going to have to be a tad careful. But, but this is transhumanist part two, technically. So I did a transhumanist... Uh, before. I won't spoil it. Very good series. But we're back again, party people. Can't keep a good Tazastical down. Right, bring our power conduit up. Right, in here, bills we are going to make. Okay, so the lifters are different to the clean sweeper. So let's get a clean sweeper just because we haven't actually got one yet. So then we've got something hauling, something cleaning, one constructor. And then we're probably... Let's get to shotgun mechs. With that, I'm going to build another... A recharger from the mechs, because we're getting quite mech heavy already. How many mechs can we have? We can have nine just at the moment. However, I do believe Bane's gear, that headset... That headset does expand it by three. Oh, I'm excited. This is a good start. So far, so good. We're going hard in the paint. Bane is making... What ones are we making first? The clean sweeper first, which I think is important. We're inside. We've already got our first raid from the Venom unit. I mean, it doesn't sound very cozy cozy, does it? Just the one parcel. Let's get back into the messages. They are attacking immediately. So we do our whole under attack got any clothing or anything we want some medicine and some silver have we hauled everything yet yes we have very nice good job everyone let's have a little clap for bane and his mechs we're making life at the minute we're doing well right go speed free so this is the only thing if there is dead bodies that haven't been hauled oh sometimes they go past them but so far the kill box is working a treat party, people. See? I don't lead you astray. Wow. I'll leave that for later on. <laughs> we start efficient at the beginning. And then we have a good time. However, a start like this does allow us to be a bit more efficient than normal. Just because we don't have to focus on as many people. Okay, we have got a power problem. So let's get battery one, battery two. Just making sure the wind turbine isn't blocked or anything like that. Bane, I don't want to see you hauling or cleaning or constructing. We want to get to the point where Bane is literally just um, researching and stuff like that, really. Scheduled in unrestrict. Not assigned to construction, gotcha. 
Right now we're just not making a, um, enough power. I might need a wood generator just to help the turbine. However, the first research that we're going to probably get up is going to be solar panels, and then we'll get rid of that immediately. We have got a transport pod. Uh, it is a child. Don't worry, that won't that won't influence my decision whether we save you or not. <laughs> See you later. Reject. Does that make you feel bad? Nah, you're loving life. Okay. Are we outdoors? No, we're indoors. I've been outside too much recently. That's fine. We'll, we'll address that. Food, we got 29, but we are going to have to worry about food sooner rather than later. Bane, why are you not? Oh, no, this is just... So we need a research table. Can't remember the button. <laughs> just click. So uh, we can get the high-tech research bench up immediately, can't we? Which is actually, like, super powerful. We do need to think about cooking. So what I will actually do is we'll build this a little bit further down and then let's get just that for the time being and then this is going to be our fungus farm so if we're getting the fungus up straight away we're gonna need the gurry hands it's definitely how you pronounce it isn't it you serious well then at the bottom pause i'm gonna do um, do forever uh, resurrect light mechanoids. So then it's just set up. Need to make sure our mechs are put to work. But we need to get food up. We can just grow fungus inside. The first harvest might be rough just as we're getting used to what the temperatures should be, need to be. What else could we be getting up? This is, I have to admit, I'm enjoying this start already. It's very, very fun. Has to be said. And then we'll put the freezer. I don't know where we're going to put the freezer. Maybe here. Proper vulnerable. We'll see how long fungus can stay unfreezed for. Have we got survival mill tech? No, we haven't. go production the research bench we could just get in there straight away and then move the bedroom back here which isn't a bad shout just because all the mechs are going to come in I don't know if it gives Bane a disturbed sleep if mechs come in or if it's just if humans keep coming into the room so we'll have to check that see the beauty is one thing that we do have to keep an eye on doesn't look like none of this is disturbing Bane like that. Obviously, the hideous environment is not good. But we'll start once we get the mechs running. So the plan is let's get the mechs up, make sure we've got everything that we need to, like, thrive. Can you tell I'm excited, party people? I love a transhumanist playthrough. Like, I hope you're hyped for this series. Oh, it's going to be absolutely great. Obviously, comment down below what, what, do, what does Bane need to do? What do we need to do to make Bane go from just a mechanator to like the king of mechanators obviously wood bedding and stuff like that we need to swap over to sooner rather than later but it's not impacting bane currently or a little bit of steel here which is actually quite handy Bane is such a good miner, which is what we need Bane to be. Ambrosia Sprout. Okay. I won't set a zone around that. That's the thing, the only thing that would have made this perfect. Imagine if Steam Geyser was like there, like, it'd be a 10 out of 10. 
We are going to be heavily polluting. As we see down the bottom left hand corner, it does say the waste. We're going to be heavy polluting this map. With not that many humans, I wonder if we don't care and we'll just tank that. So what the pollution will do is spawn like bug hives and if you go near them bug hives they will then spawn. You can use that in your defense. You know, because if enemies go near, they will then spawn them. But at the same time, it's like... This is the crazy thinking that happens on the channel, party people. Just seeing if there's anything we can... A bit weird having a constructor mech and not actually putting it to work. Do you need to bring this inside sooner rather than later? From his, so the clean sweeper should be ready when Bane wakes up. Why is Bane? Oh, so I'll let Bane just... I'll let Bane chill. Bane's... Bane is such a badass name. Like, come on. Like, we nailed that one from the start. <laughs> you don't want, like, someone called Magic Turnup. No, no, no. Bane, 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 Bane. Clean. Do this, do this. There we go. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Hello there. Just going around clean and we don't have to think about it. One less job Bane has to do. Bane's loving life. Never been this happy. So it's only going to be a very, very small base. And then you're damn sure we're going to have to make a infestation kill box. Is this all technically under the mountain? So the fungal gravel only goes... So I'll put that down. Because the constructor mech should do that, does. Steel door, steel door. No natural light and it has to be under a cliff. The fact there's only two spots that are impacted, we can just shove two statues there or something and make it look like... Yeah, I should have done it a bit deeper, but it's fine. Is that not under... Fungal. There we go. And then once we put all that down, then we can put the fungus there. Need a better system for getting rid of these. Must be carried to recharger. Okay, so the problem that we've had already is I need to do... Why did it not come back? I wonder if... Uh, carry to recharger. Okay, i keep an eye on that. See the, gear, the energy there. Must be emptied. So if I click... Might need to be, so pause. Dumping stockpile over here. Clear all critical. And then if I type in toxic... Toxic waste, will you then empty it? Not assigned to hauling. Okay, so we might have to put you on hauling them. Okay. Uh, Muffalo self-tamed. Um, I'll think about it. Are, are we good with animals? I've got a passion for it. So the genie does give us poor animals. Minus four, but we can still get it up. Hey, lads, lads, lads. Right, there we go. So that first toxic waste pack. What is the best way to get rid of these party people? Because I feel like this is going to be a problem. Unless we just pollute our planet or our map. We come down here. No pollution so far, but this will deteriorate. You can shove it in a freezer, but it's like... 
How big of a freezer? We're going to need the whole map to be a freezer. Like, early days when this uh, DLC first came out, you could just launch it at people and, like, pollute other people. And then they fixed that, so they launch it back at you. So, it's quite funny. Need meal source. I'm aware we're okay at the moment. And we are slowly getting up. The next mech that we're making is a Militor. Which is basically the shotgun mech. We have got stone cutting straight off the bat, funny enough. So let's go production. I'll put the stone cutters table just for there for the time being. Uh, camels join? Wouldn't mind having them, but... Need them in a pen. It's not really our priorities at the moment. It would be handy. Uh, sort of. The camel's already pregnant. That's how much it loves our colony, apparently. Right, how long until the next mech? 1.4 days. And what I will do is I'll click on this and make sure that mech that does all the wild woman wanders in. Let me just check. Are you getting disturbed sleep? You're not. Just outdoors. Don't worry, we'll stop Bane from going outside soon. We'd probably do. Um, build that there. Build a roof. I think this is all roofed, but I will just click it just in case. Instructors love and life. Loving the mech star. It seems very, very fun and engaging, I have to admit. I think whenever you start with, like, smaller colonies, it's always a little bit more... A little bit more cushy, a little bit more tasty, and that's what we like on the channel. Sounds very weird saying that out loud, but you know what I'm trying to say. A pod sprout? Well, we're not in the pod sprout game. This isn't the series for that. I like all my series to feel a little bit different, so we do different stuff. And we are keeping very much to our religion, which is handy. I suppose I can't work, trip, work, drive myself. Funny to think you can. We probably will get a couple more mechanators in, just because then the amount of mechs that we're going to have is awesome. Is there any way I can... Select Overseer. Oh, the recharge sends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, when you get down to like 30, start recharging. Like, don't run yourself out. Right, Bane is bored. So then what we're going to do... Is we'll mine a very small bedroom... Get the bedroom back here. And then we'll get the research table up next episode. And then start like jam into that. Equally, we have got a lot of slate currently. Some marble down here I wouldn't mind hauling back to us. So I'm going to haul that because Bane shouldn't do it. And if we can haul the marble, start making that into blocks, then we can potentially make artwork. Bane will have to do this though, sadly. The mechs are just lazy. So we'll just make a small amount. Hopefully that will get hauled by the mechs. Yeah, love it. Love to see it. It's just how the defense is going to go on these difficulties that's going to be interesting. Because obviously... Fighting with humans, I sort of know at what point we're strong enough. Where with mechs, I'm not. Like, we did mechs on the. on an easy mode when this DLC first came out.
Right. Our first shotgun mech is ready. We should have done... We should have started with Bane being very good in melee. But it sort of is what it is. Being a wimp and everything with the genie wouldn't have worked. Grizzly Bear is hunting the camel. I'm fine. Uh, clear the home zone. And we want to click this button down here on the bot pause. Now, which is the one? This one here. Automatically toggle. So toggle automatically expanding the home zone. So I don't want to do that. I'll set the home zone because otherwise if I set zones like dumping stockpiles out here, they'll automatically make it home zone. We have got another raid. These are two. Are they attacking immediately? They will prepare for a while. Uh, I need to set mechs for under attack. Under attack. Death. It's fine. Uh, Bane, come up here. Yes, get up here immediately. Get our little shotgun mech up. That's why we have to be quite quick. Then we just come here, then we can draft it and bring it down. Or I repair, yes, please. I mean, what we probably want is uh, security, steel barricades. And do like a barricade here where we can stand. What is the range? Where is the shotgun map? So I want to go information, uh, combat, shooting accuracy. And then it gives us so distant five. So we want between five and ten, really. So if I go. I'll put it there. Because by the time something pops round, it reloads, it's going to be in the five. There we go. Right, let's go speed three. And then we've got. Oh, I thought they were coming then. I thought they were coming to attack us. All right. Not crazy numbers. We get overwhelmed very, very quickly. I do think the traps are going to be able to... Like, save us here. But that's why these difficulties, you have to get trap um, kill box up immediately. Otherwise, the game is just going to dogpile you. Right, let's go speed free. Got to get these dead bodies out of here as well. So if I click this... Uh, go up to the top. No fresh. Rotten. Corpses will then get hauled there. Everyone is in the right allowed area. And then we're just waiting now. Is that the wild person? Oh, they're beginning their assaults. So let's go speed one. Right, there they are. The traps should take them out. They're still traps. They, they are the most. Easy. 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 Are we good or are we good? At pause. Gear. What have we got? We have got a duster. Flak vest there, so we're gonna go unrestrict. Unrestrict. Oh no, Bane has got a flak vest. Debating whether to still take it, but it's fine. Right, there we go. Right, let's go speed three. We'll get the bedroom sorted next episode. So I think this is a strong first episode, in all honesty. Starting with the resources that we start allows it to be that. I suppose the only other thing that I need to do is, Bane, make sure the crafting is high. So Bane will actually make blocks and stuff. We'll get Bane into the new bedroom. 
and whatnot, you know, nice wooden beds, get more cozy and whatnot. Live the dream. If you got this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, bye people. Bye.